Whenever you think of huge movie monsters, Godzilla is usually the first kaiju to come to mind. He's been stomping around Japan and other cities around the globe since 1954. Even in his first appearance, he towered above the citizens of Japan, standing at a then enormous 50 meters or almost 165 feet tall. At that height, Godzilla is about half the height of the landmarks of the Statue of Liberty or even Big Ben. He stayed at this height throughout the Showa era, but when he returned to the big screen in 1984, we got a much larger kaiju, this time coming in at over 80 meters or almost 263 feet tall. A few years later, we get an even larger Godzilla when he finally reaches 100 meters or almost 330 feet tall. 100 meters would be the pinnacle of intimidation for the big G, as up until 2014, we would see Godzilla go back and forth between the original 50 meters and then back up again to the towering 100 meter height. Then in 2014, we finally got to see the Americans try their hands at Godzilla again, but this time they would do more to honor the image of the original G. The legendary version broke the previous Godzilla size of 100 meters by just 8 meters to become the biggest Godzilla yet at 108 meters tall. Not to be outdone, Toho Studios would return with Shin Godzilla, with a final form coming in at 118.5 meters tall, or almost 390 feet. Shin would tower above much of the modern Japanese skyline and bring terror back to the franchise that had been missing since 1954. We now come to Godzilla Planet of the Monsters, the Netflix Godzilla anime coming soon to areas outside of Japan. First off, before I go forward with this edition, spoiler alert, this image and information will have a pretty big spoiler from the upcoming anime, so if you want to go forward, you've been warned. Well, we have two Godzillas in the film. Yeah, you heard that right, two Godzillas. The first one is a smaller version, coming in at the old standard of 50 meters tall and going by the name of Godzilla Phileas. However, when we look at the older version of Godzilla Earth, as it's now called, we get a kaiju like no other, a huge behemoth coming in at almost three times the height of Shin Godzilla. The 20,000 year old Earth G comes in at 300 meters, or just shy of 1,000 feet tall. To put that size in perspective, you can obviously look at this image here, but for more info, think of this. He would be just shorter than the Chrysler building or the Eiffel Tower. His kneecap is about as high as Shin Godzilla, and Shin was huge. I've got to say, I love the size of this version. After all, he is 20,000 years old, and he is earth or plant based, so that may have an influence on his size and growth as well. I've heard fans asking for a movie with multiple versions of Godzilla for years now, so we'll finally get to see that angle taken. What do you guys think about Godzilla Earth and Godzilla Phileas? I'd love to hear your thoughts and questions down below, and as always, thanks for your comments, likes, and subscriptions. Take care everybody, and I hope to see you next time.